What we find out in the story is that the daughter, in her past, like as a teenager, had some sort of mental breakdown, and it scared not only her, but her mother, and that's that's why she leaves, that's why she escapes. So when mental illness does come up in the family, there's a really huge amount of fear that is portrayed in this play. As an Asian American, we really don't acknowledge those kind of issues. A lot of times it goes untreated in the Asian American community. There's a lot of stigma attached to mental health and people just aren't getting the help that they need and, and treatment that they need. My name is Dr. Michi Fu. I'm a licensed psychologist. There are so few Asian American psychologists that you almost have to say yes. I actually was one of the editors of the Handbook of Asian American Psychology, the second edition. I had a professor, um, my first Asian American psychology class, and she was an Asian American psychologist. And I knew, oh, that's what I want to look like. That's what I want to be like. So um, I remember her sharing her trials and tribulations, being one of the very first pioneers of the field. I used to work at the Asian Pacific Family Center of Pacific Clinics, and it's a nonprofit. In Asian American psychology, we tend to see people seeking help after um, the symptoms have gotten so bad that the family can't take care of it anymore. So the strength in Asian American culture, and this is a generality, tends to be that we take care of our own. So people will ask, like, how come Asian Americans don't have homeless? Well, generally speaking, it's because the family feel obligated to take folks in. So it's a strength, but it also serves as a barrier. And I definitely saw that thread when I was reading through the script of, oh, this is someone who has a family history of something, um, might have been detected a lot earlier had this been something that the family could have discussed. A way of looking at it in terms of all these diagrams, right? So there's a shared common, we kind of know what it's like to have English as a second language. We kind of know what it's like to have certain uh, values. You also want to look at waves of immigration. So even if someone is Chinese, well, where in China? That's huge, and then some of it has British influence. Some of it um, matters if you immigrated pre-1965, that means you were a pioneer. If you were post-takeover or whatever, then it probably had some political or financial implications. So every family will have their own story. The challenge is to figure out, okay, what do we generally know about that time period? And then what, what can I just forget and say, I'm sitting here with you as a person, and I'm willing to listen to your unique story. This is a really interesting play in that it encompasses some of these issues of mental health in the Asian American community and how that affects families and relationships. What I think that Julia Cho is trying to say with this piece is that mental illness is something that we need to reach out to and that we need to close that distance between um, families and individuals and as community members. So to see on stage and see that we do go through it and it's something real within our community is really cool and brings awareness to that. Mm -hmm.